Tonight, the tribes that rely on California's second largest river are fighting for the future of their food supply. Salmon, which used to be plentiful, are now vulnerable. And an ambitious plan that will result in the largest dam removal in U.S. history could save their food supply. Here's why we all need to be paying attention to this. Our Kena Whitworth has this in-depth report. Raising five children on the Yurok Reservation, Molly still weaves baskets, cooks acorns, and wears traditional face tattoos. Keeping tribal memories alive is important to the whole family. There was a whole period of assimilation, right? It's like, don't speak your language, don't get your traditional tattoos, um, you know, like hide that you're Indian, just try to, you know, be in like mainstream white culture. And when they can, they fish reliant on the salmon that have run these waters of California's second largest river, the Klamath, since what the Yurok tribe calls time immemorial. The tribe now watching those salmon numbers dwindle. A couple years ago, fish numbers were really, really low. And we had about three cases of fish in our pantry. And so Frankie and I had just made the decision ourselves that, um, that we wouldn't fish. Um, in an effort to kind of let as many fish up the river as we could. Without the salmon, nearly 92% of the Klamath River Basin tribes face food insecurity and rely on federal government help. One of the reasons that we do a lot of camming, we rely on salmon specifically, not only just because it's part of our traditional diet, uh, but the nearest grocery store is about 45 minutes away from here. Um, and that's our local grocery store on the reservation. And as the western mega drought worsens, the water levels are reaching historic lows and temperatures too warm for the salmon to survive. Alarms have been going off since 2002 when 34,000 adult salmon were killed in the Klamath. Yurok tribal members turned their attention to the four dams holding back water along the river. Your entire relationship, in the time it has taken the dams to be removed, you have built a family and a life together. Yeah. Yeah. This month, the federal government gave the green light to remove the four dams along the lower Klamath River, a decision the Yurok tribe has been waiting on for years. This is the Iron Gate Dam, and the idea is to remove this one and the three behind it simultaneously, completing the project by fall of 2024, which would allow that year's fall Chinook to return to their original spawning grounds for the first time since 1918. But while they wait for the dams to be removed, the tribe is working year-round to restore the Trinity River, the largest tributary to the Klamath. So where we're walking right now, you said is the largest restoration project in the history of the Trinity River. That is correct. It's a huge cleanup effort of mine tailings from the what, 30s and 40s? Yep, yep, from the Oregon Gulch mine. Do you think sometimes when people think of river restoration, they might not imagine a scene like this? No, they definitely don't imagine a scene like this. We've got local people that have come out to the project and they're actually very shocked as to what we've accomplished in the short amount of time that we've been out here. And most of the work is being done by tribal members themselves. We met Alderon McCovey working the excavator, who says it's nonstop work that he feels a responsibility to do. Our people are salmon people, and we've always believed if the salmon ever disappear, then we're pretty much done. So we got to do what we can to keep the fish in the river, you know? This river is part of their lifeblood. So the passion that comes to these projects from the, the tribe, it's not about the project. It's about restoring and, and bringing back the resources to the people. It's amazing to see all that. What unbelievable work. Frankie and Yurok biologist Kyle DiGiulio take us along the Trinity for a look at some of the completed projects, helped by funding from the infrastructure bill. Government leaders are saying, you know, we're working with the tribes. We're going back to the tribes to try to learn from their connection to the land how to get us out of this problem. Mm -hmm. You agree with that? I agree that they are absolutely coming to us more than they ever have in the past. And I think they're finally starting to uh, listen to what we've been trying to say this whole time. By building up areas along the banks, creating structure and slowing the water, they've seen the numbers of juvenile salmon more than double. But still, Kyle says the recent passing of the dam removal was the only way to see adult salmon 
return in those same numbers. What kind of difference will that make? It's going to be huge for the fish on the Trinity. The conditions in the lower Klamath are a bottleneck, a limitation on the amount of productivity you can, we can have. Last year, we had a huge juvenile fish kill on the Klamath where we lost 90, 80, 90% of the outmigrating juveniles. But many upstream in Siskiyou County say these dams play a critical role during the increasingly intense wildfire season. In 2010, nearly 80% of the community members here voted against dam removal. This area has been hit by wildland fires incredibly the last several years and those dams provide a water source to fight fire. The community of Copco was saved because of uh, Copco Dam. They were able to dip water out of it, and that's what played a big part in saving that community. Cal Fire, however, signed off on the removal project in a federal report. Do you feel like you're fighting a losing battle? I fear for the consequences when the dams come out, the flooding, the sediment, the 20 million cubic yards of sediment coming out, the loss of value to uh, property homes, and I'm worried that once the hoop is done, this county will be left holding the bag for the consequences, the negative consequences of it. That everybody else wash their hands of it, and we'll have to live with it for uh, generations. For Frankie and Molly, and so many more in the Yurok tribe, the dam removal means literally bringing life back to the river that they rely on so much. Salmon are a keystone species for the survival of this ecosystem that we're a part of. And if there ever comes a time when there's no more salmon in the river, then our ecosystem will have failed completely and won't be able to sustain our life here on this world. And that is not just for the Yurok tribe. Absolutely. That is for humanity as a whole. As a whole, 100%. Our thanks to Kena and her team for that insightful report. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.